<laughs> I do not like this one at all. Everyone's seen these bad boys hanging from rear view mirrors all across the globe. They're called Little Tree Air Fresheners. Now I'm sure you're aware of the classics. I'm talking pine, new car smell, black ice. But did you know that there are 42 different scents of Little Trees? Today, I'm gonna sniff every single one of them, rank them from zero to 100 so we can finally figure out what is the best smelling little tree and what is the worst. And turns out that this company has a pretty rich and interesting history full of things like lawsuits. So we're gonna learn all about that too. I'm James and this is the DDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDD
Next up we have bourbon, which is a weird one. Uh, I don't know if I'd want my car to smell like booze. <coughs> First gag of the day. <laughs> it does not smell good. It smells like cigars. 25. You might notice that it says 1952 here, which is a perfect segue, if I do say so myself, into the first of our fun fragrance facts. Max? Little trees were invented in 1952 by a guy named Julius Simon after a milk truck driver complained to him about how bad his milk truck smelled from all the spilled milk. Huh. Thank you, Max. Ooh. Another one of the classics, black ice. I picture black ice in like the rearview mirror of like a white BMW. It's definitely one of the cooler looking ones. It's, again, minimalist. It smells, again, it smells like, like body wash of a middle school boy. Um, I don't like it at all. It kind of makes my tum tum hurt. 28. <laughs> Pure Steel! Fun fact, I think this one was named after the Shaq film, Steel, which is like Robocop. I think, it scares me that this is the first one described as hard hitting because they've all been pretty hard hitting so far. Let's see if it smells like steel. <laughs> no way, it's not good. 22. Oh no. I'm hopeful, but not really. It smells like leather, but not like good leather. <laughs> it doesn't smell like uh, like the inside of a Mercedes or like a fancy car. It smells like you're like hugging a guy with one of those like uh, brown leather like bomber jackets, like your uncle. He's leaving after Thanksgiving. Mm, uh, Thirty. Next up, we got heat. Heat smells like fire. A fiery hot mix of spicy cinnamon and clove. Sure to set your senses ablaze. Oh nice, sure to set my senses ablaze. Can't wait. <sighs> smells like gum. Duh. Don't like it, not totally offensive. 38. This one is sick. Rose thorn. This is a Brett Michaels signature little tree. Not really my style, but you know, if you like wearing silk anime shirts, this one might be the one for you. I like it. 85. This one, Supernova. What is space supposed to smell like? Supernova pops with bursts of bright bergamot intensified by notes of dark berry, ozonic florals, and musk. I am even more in the dark than I was previously. I know what two of those words were. It is not good. That's offensive. I do not like that. Like, literally, 22. Next up, we got morning fresh. Morning fresh. Gotta tell you, in the morning, I'm not always so fresh. <laughs> the color is pretty cool. It's kind of like stance sceney. Uh, like, I could see this hanging, like, ironically, like in a Miata, like a stanced Miata. It smells like someone went to the bathroom and then sprayed air freshener. You know, when you go to the bathroom and you like appreciate they sprayed air freshener, but it just kind of like allows the doo-doo smell to go into your nose more. Like it's like a Trojan horse. Like your nose is like, for a split second, it's like, oh, it smells good. Oh, it's doo-doo. That's what this smells like. Ugh, 20. My nostrils are starting to burn a little bit. So I'm gonna cleanse my nose zone and Max is gonna give you guys another fun fragrance fact. So little trees are shaped like evergreen trees mm. because the inventor spent five cold years extracting essential oils from the evergreen forests of Canada. Wow. Rain shine. Rain shine is, I guess, like the sun coming out during a rainstorm, which is beautiful. We don't get nearly enough rain here in Southern California. I do miss it. I like it. It's subtle. Uh, would not mind my car smelling like that. I might actually use this one in my car. Uh, 92. Staying in the rain family, next up we have Rainforest Mist. 
It smells like um, like someone else's laundry. 35. Speaking of laundry, summer linen. Max, what is summer linen supposed to smell like? Summer linen. The scent of sunny cotton, white peach, lavender, and coconut water. Ooh, coconut water. <laughs> Some of them hit the back of your throat in a really bad way. It's very strong. I don't mind the smell. It's like not a bad smell. 70. <laughs> if this one smells good, then this one is the color of my golf. Bayside Breeze. Smells like shrimp and old krill. <coughs> They're very strong. Ugh, yeah. 85. No, 80, 80. Most of the air fresheners so far have been a little like ethereal. They're like ideas. I think now we're getting down to the brass tacks of things that smell like things. And we're gonna start that off with probably the classic, best known, Royal Pine. And it smells like a Christmas tree. I do not want my car to smell like that. Also, I'm in front of a green screen, so you guys probably can't even see this. Tell makeup influencers do it. Uh, 32. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. It doesn't smell good. Um, 42. Trippy Maine cotton candy. That does not smell good. That smells like spray paint. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate. Oh, that one stinks. 12. Caribbean colada. Another alcohol one, our second alcohol one. That one smells like something, like somebody's house. Like somebody from my past. Don't like it. 17. Get out of my thoughts, little trees. Now from Caribbean colada, we move on to pina colada. Got like a neon camouflage. I guess that, like this is what the Bahamas army wears. I like a pina colada, I don't like this. Nine. Coconut. That is not the color of a coconut. They could have made it white, they could have made it brown. They made it very clear that they can do different designs. I don't know why they landed on orange. It makes no sense. Wouldn't want my car to smell like it, but I do like the smell. 56. Sunset Beach. Now the beach to me smells like salinity, smells like sand, sometimes smells like kelp or fish. What does the sunset smell like? Hints of neroli, musk, and white florals linger in the air as the sun sets on a long relaxing day spent at the beach. It's definitely very floral. Reminds me of Hawaii. Love the design. <clears throat> 74. I need a little break, so it's time for another fascinating, fun, fragrant fract with Max. In 2018, the Little Trees Corporation sued Balenciaga for selling a leather keychain that resembled their air fresheners. They own the shape of a tree, sliced. This one's cool. It looks like a tablecloth from an outdoor picnic table. Very intense. Very intense citrus flavor. I don't know why you'd want to smell that all day. 21. Strawberry. Smells like a very fake artificial strawberry. 25. This one's the same color as the strawberry. We've got cinnamon apple. Might smell like pie. If it does smell like pie, then I'm down. It's definitely more cinnamony than apple-y. Smells like a potpourri. It's fine, 35. Green apple. This one smells like, it is apple-y, but it smells like someone smoked on it. It's like almost good. It smells like a now and later that someone was chewing while they smoked a cigarette. Mm -mm, 18. 
This isn't some tame cherry, it's a wild one. Wild cherry. I don't know where the cherry scent came from. I've smelled the cherry. It does not smell like what people have decided that cherries smell like. Uh, it's like not bad, it's not a bad smell. I just wouldn't want to smell it. Very chemically uh, dirty. How peachy is the peach? Oh, it's peachy. <laughs> 76. It doesn't say on the package, I'm assuming it's watermelon. It's just called watermelon, yeah. Straight up watermelon. I love the design, it's very subtle. 84. Mom, what kind of tree is that? Oh, that's a cherry blossom, honey. 57. Getting down to the bottom of it, got about six more. Time for another furiously fascinating and Fun, fragrant fact with Max. In Europe, little trees are known as Wonder Bomb, Arbor Magique, and Magic Trees. That's cool. They're just called little trees here. Now this is another Vanilla Rama, but this one doesn't have the American flag on it. So I'm curious to see, oh, this trash can. <coughs> this trash can is intense. It stinks, it stinks. I don't like it. It smells like that milkman's truck probably smell. Four. Four? No, it's 32. Do you wanna know what you gave it before? What did I give it before? 55. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sick of these. It doesn't have a flag on it. Yes, I'm a patriot, I'm a patriotic person. Uh, next up we have Aladdin's girlfriend, Jasmine. That one's nice. Smells like a grandma. 65. Just like a grandma. That's how, that's a perfectly reasonable age for a grandmother. Apparently Frank Sinatra loved the smell of lavender. I go back and forth. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I don't. It smells like church. It smells like a church. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, 34. Daisy Fields, that sounds like a girl's name. Oh my God, dude. You're going to prom with Daisy Fields? Again, another flower one. It smells totally different than the other flowers. I mean, it smells good. It smells like perfume. I guess a lot of perfumes smell like flowers. 86. Moroccan mint tea. I'm excited about this one. I love mint. I love tea, I love Morocco. Very fresh. It smells like mint tea. Mmm, 92. Okay, we have one more little tree left to smell. So Max is gonna give you our final, fantastically, furiously fun fragrant fact. Max, if you will. Okay, so the three most popular little tree scents in the world. Okay. Do you want to guess? Yeah. In the world. Yeah. Pine, black ice, new car smell. Number one is black ice. Number one. Number two is new car scent. Yeah. And number three, vanilla aroma. Vanilla aroma! Probably buy it for the flag. We've reached our final little tree, guys. We've smelt 41. Little tree air fresheners. We've gone from vanilla aroma twice. New car smell. We've gone all the way to Morocco. We've seen a sunset beach a couple of times. Finally, we have made it to number 42, Blackberry Clove. What a way to wrap it up with this mauve tree. There's a Wrigley's gum that I used to get, like a sugar-free Wrigley's gum, and it's not the pink bubble gum, it's like a slightly darker package. That's what this smells like. Uh, 24. The worst smelling little tree, according to me, an expert, is... Cotton candy. Cotton candy, with a score of... Eight. Eight! I did not like it. It does not smell good. It is sharp. It is too sweet. 
Um, the design was kind of cool. It's like a tie-dye, but it smells like crap. The best smelling Little Trees air freshener, according to my nose, is Max. It's a tie. Oh no! Between. How exciting! Rain Shine. Ooh, I love Rain Shine. And Moroccan Mint. Rain Shine and Morocco Mint. How excited, we're going into overtime! Mm. Mm. <sighs> Winner is Moroccan Mint! The best smelling little tree there is. Congratulations, buddy. You're getting hung from my rear view mirror on my car. Like I said before, you can only buy these in bulk. So I got some more of every single one of them. So post a picture of your rear view mirror on Instagram with the hashtag, I need a tree. And I will pick three of you at random and send you all 42 cents of Little Trees. We already gave some away on our Discord. To learn more about that, click the join button below or I'll put a link in the description. If you like watching me take stuff out of packages and talk about it, check out this episode. Uh, Zach Job is in it where we review the worst <laughs> reviewed car products on Amazon. Uh, I love you. <laughs>